Howdy, hi. Mr. Information, but I knew he would have to be in today, so he's in a little better shape. Uh, there's a few things that will be in this upcoming video, and uh, I'll put a note in uh, description to what time you can go to to skip this little bit of it and get right to the action. Uh, Krampus is mentioned in this. Uh, Krampus is a critter they uh, came up with. Krampus is a critter they came up with to uh, for mid-game to make the game harder. And what happens is... You get naughty points for killing like pigs, birds, anything but monsters, basically. And each different thing has different points. A crow is one point, a red bird is two, a snow bird is two, a pig is three, a beefalo is four, a small bird is six. And once you get between 30 and 50 points, Krampus comes. You, basically, you're summoning him by killing him. And as you kill more and more things, as you get closer to that 30 to 50 limit, You'll hear after whatever you kill, like if a bunny screams, you'll hear another hissing scream that will get louder and louder. What Krampus does is he breaks your chests and he steals anything anywhere. He will steal poop off the ground. He will steal, uh, he won't steal like a stalk of grass that's growing, but if you've picked it and laid it there, he'll steal that. But he can also break open your chests and steal out of them. He can steal an entire backpack full of stuff. So, uh, meaning he can pick up a backpack you have left on the ground and take it with him. Hi, Piwacket. Now is not the time, baby. Now, they set him up with uh, the gobbler's motion, meaning he will run from you and he's almost impossible to chase down or corner. So, the best way to fight him early on is to either hit him with something that makes him sleep, like a sleeping dart, or uh, hit him with a boomerang or a blow dart to aggro him so he attacks you. Now he hits for 50 points a hit if you're unarmored. So he's not, he's not a joke. You want to have armor on and a decent weapon to fight him. But the main thing is getting him to fight at all. He tends to come, steal your stuff, and disappear. He has a trick where he jumps into his own stack and he's gone. But the only way you wind up with him is as that scream gets louder and louder, you just blow it off and keep killing more and more innocent creatures. So you are the cause of him being there. So if you're starting to hear that really loud, you might want to back off on your kills. That's what I'm talking about in this where I don't want Krampus because I'm not ready for him yet. And Krampus is in Wiki and there's more information about strategies all right, there is a 1% chance when you kill Krampus that it'll drop his sack. If you've seen my Wilson videos, uh, Wilson's sack is the Krampus sack, and it's the biggest sack in the game. The piggyback sack has slots, extra slots over a regular backpack, but it slows you down. Uh, the Krampus sack is magically delicious and does not slow you down. Uh, but that 1% drop, it's just a long story. You need to find one of my videos or somebody's videos on how to get it. And basically, it involves a certain amount of cheating. And actually, well, how you get it, it's up to you. I do it a, a, a way I consider fairly consistent with the game, although it's still cheating. But 1%, you could play the game, this game all your life and never get that drop. So, but that's neither here nor there. You don't, you know, you make your decision about the Krampus sack. It's just, it comes from him. Oh, another thing that's going to be in this is the heat stone. And we're in winter and I'm on day 28. So there's seven more days of winter. Uh, default is 20 days summer and 15 days winter. I was thinking 20 days winter because I haven't done it in a long time, but it's 15. But I'll talk more about winter and the days remaining once we get past the already recorded film. Now that I know how much more information I have to put in these. Okay, the heat stone, which gets made in this, it's uh, is to keep you warm. You put it near the fire or you have it in your inventory and stand next to your fire. The bigger the fire is, the more it heats up. Then you carry it around with you and it helps keep you warm like a beefalo hat or any other warm clothing item. Uh, a fully charged stone also creates a certain amount of light, which will keep you alive. But I've heard that fully charged, that only lasts like 15 seconds, which to me is like, you know, who cares? <laughs> 
it's uh, anyway, it's just an addition like uh, warm clothing or anything else. Uh, once it turns blue, it has to be reheated. Okay, frost crystals. Now, like I said, I've got time to talk more about winter down the road in the video itself. So I'm not going to worry too much about winter overall. But as it gets colder, as your character gets colder, frost crystals form at the corners, all the four corners of your screen. Now, when the first frost crystals form, that's a warning that your character is too cold. And you need to, like, drop a stick on the ground, a, a log, something, and set it on fire to warm them back up. Or light fire to a tree. You don't want to burn down a forest doing that. Uh, you can make a fire, although that takes a lot more material than just dropping a stick and setting it on fire. You want to stand there until you warm up. And it's kind of a nebulous period of time. It's more than just lighting it and running off. You've got to stand there for a little bit. And and that's it. You're good to go again until you get those first. The crystals will go away. That's when you know you're good to go. But anyway, if you let those first crystals form and don't do anything, a second set will form on top of them. And you'll hear that crunching crystally noise again. When that happens, you're taking 1.25 hit points per second of cold damage, and it will kill you. So uh, when you hear that first crunchy crystally thing and see those crystals, it's a good idea within a very short span of time to make a fire, get to a fire, whatever you need to do, put on more warm. I don't know. I think by then you need a fire. But... Uh, but the first ones are a warning. The second one is damage to your hit points. Like a, what Wiki says is 1.25 per second, which sounds right to me. So that's the Heat Stone. And I played the game for a huge amount of time without him. And you'll see me forget it, not use it properly, the whole bit. But basically, you heat it up by the fire in or out of your inventory. And you carry it with you. When it turns blue, it's not working anymore. Now, I specifically, if I'm not having trouble staying, I wouldn't run back to the fire every and build a new fire every time it runs down because I've got other stuff to keep me warm or I can just make a small fire as I go along. So to me, it's an addition to whatever else I'm doing, okay? Now, if you had nothing but it, you might have to do that. And that, that'd be pretty desperate business if you didn't have earmuffs, didn't have a winter hat, didn't have a beefalo hat, puffy vest. If you had nothing but the heat stone, that makes a really entertaining game. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot. And, it's, and you can see it as you're getting closer to winter. The night gets longer and the day gets shorter. Dusk and night get longer. So you've got less of the, the daylight, which does affect cold. Also, I think it's colder when it's snowing. Uh, Wiki says it doesn't rain in winter, and I've seen rain in winter. It tends to not rain in the middle of winter because you're getting snow. But I've seen uh, rain on the first and last days of winter. Uh, also, uh, snowbirds. Snowbirds replace the redbirds, so that's almost a sure sign of uh, of uh, winter. Uh, the beefalo hat and the puffy vest are the two highest rated warming pieces of clothes, and that's why uh, a willow needs to go on a, a qualifier hunt. And I think I do do a successful one in this. 28 days of film I have and if you know and if not I'll try again so oh the other thing is you get deer clops in the winter and it's going to take too long to explain about him unless I get him I suggest you look him up or look at a video of mine or somebody else's that shows deer clops and the same thing with McTusk but with McTusk, you will see an igloo on your map. It will show as an igloo on the map if you're near to one. So 
unless you go aggravate him, you're not going to run into him. But he ranges fairly far, so you have to be careful. You could run into McTuss before you get to the igloo if you're exploring in the winter. If you look at your surroundings and have a good idea of what's around you before winter, it shouldn't be a problem. But if you're doing winter exploration, it's quite possible to run into McTusk and two hounds as a hunting party. Okay, I think that's all for, for, for Mr. Information Bunny, and he's talked way too much. So I'm going to have to edit the crap out of this, but we'll see how it turns out. And hopefully we're through with most of these. I've got, like I said, I recorded and filmed to day 28, and hopefully I'll catch most of this in the video after that day. Although some of this, there's no way I could have explained everything that Mr. Information Bunny's told you. So anyway, Info Bunny signing off. Y'all enjoy. What am I short? Grass. Yeah, we're going to be gathering grass all winter. But that's something I kind of counted on. And you can see, I assume by now, why the bunny hells were important. Tiny grass. Ha ha ha! Hell of an echo in here. Oh, I never did go after those. Uh, how close are those? Where's the touchdown? One over there and one down there, maybe? Or maybe I'm thinking of a different world. Well, one over there for sure. Huh. And I don't know. Well, we need grass for sure tomorrow. Not much point in planting the spider egg until we get grass for it.
Oh hell, we didn't make the uh, heats down. Were the stones up there? Of course they were if I walked away. Okay, heat's down. Hell, is that survival? Or fire? Good grief. Alright, heat's down. Ten stones, one pick, and three flint. I was actually thinking about making bunny ears, too. Since, uh, to save wear and tear on the, uh, uh, let's put the rest of the weaponized stuff up there. And we'll call that and that weaponized stuff. go chop wood and do good happy crap like that would be the logical thing to do probably. I'm just not really set up yet to deal with Krampus. Next year, B boxes. do love and I'm thinking about that kind of let Krampus run off Actually, the earmuffs aren't the worst thing in the world if you stay close to base. I'm not real set up for old Krampusy. I'm trying to think on that fistful of jam. Alright, I think we wind up with as much... If we cook them off for actually more individually than we do in the crock pots. But we don't get the sanity buff. So where are we? 39. 39. So it went up 37. Alright, now we're at what? 75. And it went up 12. So four of them would be 48. So 37 or 48. 
so they're better one at a time. Thing is, you can pick them as berries and then uh, cook them when you have to. When they get to the bottom of green, when you cook them as berries, I mean, as raw, you can wait till they're just towards the bottom of green. And then you can cook them and it revives them. And you wait till they're towards the bottom of green, or, you know, where it's almost into the yellow, or into the yellow. <coughs> then put them in the crock pot and turn them into a fistful of jam, and it'll pretty much last most of the winter. So... It's just one more way to stretch your food without a refrigerator. But actually, we're not hurting on food. Not really hurting on anything. It's just this killing time bullshit. Also, this first winter, we could make prototypes to increase our sanity. I mean, you can any winter, but we've got, like, we could open the, uh, oh, probably any of the gold tools, the pitchfork, you know, stuff like that. Winter's just kind of boring. I should go gather a bunch of grass tomorrow. Oh, I should be standing here so my, so my stones will heat up. Bet you didn't know Willow had stones. Look at how it glows. Well, what we really need is grass. Did none of this turn into anything? Yeah, if we had grass and charcoal, it would both be good. Ah, stupid plant. Now, let's chop the one that has two. Oh, shoot, I qualify. Uh, do we have everything we need? Yes, we do. Shit, do we have... Uh, yes, we do. All right, off we go. Now, I'm the worst qualifant hunter in the world. I always get the messages, if you had looked, blah, 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 you would have seen his track. Of course, I never looked, blah, 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 blah. And if we get into the night, I'm really screwed. I always think his little footy prints are closer or further away. Well, there's a spider nest we needed. All right, now I'm lost on the son of a bitch. All right, it was there. And it's going this way. There it is. Come on, Willow, you can do this. Shite. Now I don't see it at all. Oh, there it is. Koala fence. Oh, you son of a bitch. Where are you? Am I looking at the track and not seeing it? This way. Not there, is it? Nope. Is it behind this tree? Oh, there it is. Come on, pig. You can snoof out truffles. You ought to be able to snoof out this qualifant for me. Damn it, where is he? Oh, I was after grass and went after that damn qualifant. Ah, uh, well, I should have known better. So anyway, I went tracking a koala fit, and I didn't find the damn thing, and I usually lose them in the winter time. I shouldn't have wasted my time. Well, I guess actually, sooner or later, you either find one or you don't. Uh, I 
I miss Wilson's beard, I'll tell you that much.